For the following tutorial, it may be better to turn your sound up, and rather than reading along, have a look at the features on the screen. The EBSCO ATLA Religion Database is constructed to let you begin with a keyword search, then move on to more advanced features once you see your results. Let's start with a search for religious journal articles on AIDS in Africa. The results screen is more complex. Think of it as a tool to enable you to refine your initial search, which in this case produced 293 results. With all EBSCO databases, there is a built-in encouragement to stage or facet your searches, refining the results until you have exactly what you want. The center pane gives you a number of results as well as citations to the articles or other materials themselves. On this side are links to suggested subject headings. In our case, the search AIDS and Africa could produce results on food aid in Africa. A subject heading would specify that we mean the disease AIDS. Over here we have limiters, including a slider to specify a date range, and a search options link that leads to more limiters. Let's narrow our search specifically to AIDS the disease by choosing a subject heading. We now have 162 results, less than half of our original number. These are more relevant because AIDS is a central subject of these articles. Note that a breadcrumb trail of the searches we've done is produced. Each search is linked so we can do it individually. Let's add one more subject heading because we are particularly interested in the connection between AIDS and socio-economic conditions in Africa. Now we have 34 highly relevant results. The breadcrumb trail has added our new subject heading. If you want, you can eliminate any subject heading from the trail and try something else. If you hover your mouse over this icon, more information is provided about the particular entry. In many cases, the full text of the article you want will be available right from the database. If it is not, follow the links to where you can obtain the article. You can add the citation to a folder so that you can deal with several articles at once later. This database offers an option to search for articles on scripture passages. Type the biblical book and chapter into the browse box. You will get several options and it is possible to choose more than one. In this case we want everything covering John 3, 1-18. When you are done, scroll back up and click on the search button. And here are your results. There is also an indexes tab that enables you to do standardized searches. You can choose from several options to search standardized information like authors names or subject headings among other things.